Welcome and hello my beautiful Libras. Here is your general extended reading uh, for February the 13th to the 19th. Career, finance, romance, relationships, outcome card and what you need to focus on. So let's see what we have here for the finance, your career, your money, your job, your business, uh, you know, inheritance, windfalls, what you, wow, we're going to take them. Three just flew out of there very quickly and strong. Okay, interesting. You've got the turtle, you've got the coffin, and you've got the gold. Okay, so um, I think that, you know, um, there might have been some, we'll go to the center position right off the bat with the coffin. The coffin usually means endings and new beginnings, but also it could be something that ended in your job or your career, or maybe a contract, something that you finished up and completed. Um, it could also be uh, you moving on in a new direction, in a new department, something uh, where you're leaving a position, going to another one. Uh, you know, you have found that you're, you're, some of you, that maybe you have had financial challenges and you're, you've had to tap into your other resources. Maybe you had some stashed away in savings. Um, I, some of you could be actually getting into the office and trying to check out your finances and check out your, uh, your, 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 your banking and your investments and your money that you have. Some of you could actually be doing office work right now. Your hours could be changing for some of you. You may be having to do a shift change and work different hours so that you can uh, maybe be adding more money to uh, to your uh, to your account here and to your savings. Now you've got the turtle, and the turtle says money will be coming, but it will be coming slowly. But it is a progressive and positive move forward. But Keep in mind, this is progress, steady progress, okay? Some of you may be considering moving to a different job. You may be considering uh, moving geographically to be where the work is. Uh, and it all it's all going to come in good time. You could be in the planning process. You know, the tur tortoise moves slowly. You know, you've heard the story about the tortoise and the hare. You know, he stays consistent, persistent. He doesn't veer off. He doesn't run and get all chaotic. He puts his head down and goes for what he wants. And I think you're doing that. You're wanting longevity. You're wanting long long-term security. And there will be that coming in. Here you have that gold card. Amazing. So there will be solid financing. And you're going to be able to, uh, you know, see deeper values. You're going to be able to see how to deal with your finances in a better way. You could be, again, as I said, you might have been doing research here with your bank. Um, but know that you that this will be a long-term commitment for you. I think you're going to be finding new, a new work here. Uh, I think you're leveling up. It's starting slowly, albeit. But I think you're going to find that you will have solid finances. Uh, you've been investing a lot of time into trying to find the right job or work your way up the rungs on that ladder of success. You've got great deep values and great integrity. And this is what's helping you receive this long-term position, getting recognized and rewarded for the hard work and effort that you've made. Keep in mind that that original reading here, the tarot reading, was indicative of good luck, hard work, success coming in. And you're definitely going to feel satisfied with your job and your career again. Now, coming in with relationships, which could be uh, romance or otherwise, same sex, commitments, uh, love mate, play mate, life mate, marriages, uh, you know, anything like that. Let's see what we have here for you when it comes to relationships, partnerships in general, connections with those on an emotional level. Okay. You've got passion and you've got let your friends help you. Um, you could be in a situation here where um, you, you, you are going to be able to meet someone here. It's almost like uh, you're in a position here with somebody where they're going to make you feel protected. I always look at the graphics on this particular passion card, and it reminds me of Archangel Michael. We know that Michael is the protective angel, that, that he's there to protect and defend and, and to be in your end of the ring. Um, there may be somebody coming into your life that is going to make you feel very, very secure, uh, very comfortable in their company, and it's going to allow your, you to let your heart and your soul be happy again. For others, I think you're going to be tapping into friendships here with, with your close uh, circle of friends uh, and you're going to let them help you. Ask for and accept the support from others. If you're going through a situation here in a relationship, don't be afraid to sit down and confide with those that you trust, those that you want to share this information with. Whether it's happy information or it's sad information, when it comes to connections of the heart, 
be open. It's time to heal. Some of you might be healing through a situation. For others, you might be asking your friends to help you get to know somebody. Maybe they may have someone that you they know that they can help promote you, introduce you. Maybe somebody's going to play Cupid. There could be um, somebody setting you up for a date uh, through someone that they know. So allow your friends to help you. Allow your friends to, uh, to share in your happiness and to help promote you there where you want to be happy in a partnership here. Now, I think that, you know, you're going to be very passionate uh, about this. I think you're finally stepping out there saying, hey, it's time for me. I want to meet somebody. I want to have that happiness. I want that want that duality. Now, this is for someone that's single, but you could also be confiding with those around you if you are in a relationship that you feel you need to discuss issues with. So don't be afraid to do that. Okay, what's your outcome card here? Let's see what we have here. What do you need to release, surrender to, uh, you know, be able to accept uh, the energy around you right now to promote yourself, to better the situation. Let's see what we have here for you. All right, we have these two. Okay, you've got surrender to the wonder of awe and surrender to defensiveness. Okay, so... This is about surrender to awe. This is about being happy and opening up and promoting yourself and, and accepting life as it is. Open to the magic of every moment and sense the awe and wonder in all of life. This attitude will keep you connected to the ecstasy of flow. So... This is about living in the moment. This is about not stressing out about the next nano minute. This is not about that stinking thinking and and stepping. You need to step out of your way and not allow yourself to sabotage your 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 energy going forward. Remember, you had the courage card in the beginning reading that says, you know, you might have to look at things in a different way, and you, and you might have to forge out there and do something different. You have to be brave. So accept that. Live in that moment. Now you've got surrender to defensiveness. Defensiveness is a sign of weakness. To communicate in a more empowered way, stay centered and hear someone out. Then offer a clear and non-defensive uh, response. So, you know, this is about, again, stepping back, breathing in, breathing out, and listening to the other side of the story. Not jumping in in the heat of the moment with the roar of the lion, lion and then reacting and regretting. Because I've told you this before, words are things we can never take back. So let go of feeling defensive. Try not to take things personally this week. You know, you could be feeling a little bit off kilter where you might be extra sensitive this week. And, you know, you might have this ability to take something out of context. So remember, just let it go, step back, listen to the whole story, and then you'll be able to step up and communicate. All right, let's see what you need to focus on this week, my beautiful Libras. Let's see what you need to focus on. Focus on. What do you need to focus on? All righty. Share your love. I love it. Okay, so there could be somebody coming in here, could be uh, a relationship new, or it could also be a relationship that you're in right now, where now you finally you, you finally look across and you see each other and you go, you know, it's time for us. It's time for us to share our love. It's time for us to have time together to do that, to be passionate again. So <clears throat> don't hold it in. If you have something that you want to say, say it to that person, because we have no guarantees what the next moment's going to bring in our life, and we've all seen how that can happen happen so this is a time of being open sharing your love if you think it you feel it then you need to speak it and demonstrate it well my beautiful beautiful libras this is your reading for this week and i wish you a great remainder for today and a very optimistic week to look forward to always know i send you lots of love and many blessings and i'll see you soon